By age 37, I had made so much money, I never, ever, ever have to work another day in my life. All right? If you're not retired by age 37, and you, and you want to be, my question is, go your earphones in? What the fuck are you doing? All right? The secret to retire is to make more money than you are spending. And so you can save that cash. So why are you waking up, working in a job, the famous saying, isn't it? Working in a job you hate to buy shit you don't really need to impress people you don't really like or they don't really like you. That's a lot. Most people out there, unfortunately, in the Western system is working this job they hate. Like, I know doctors, lawyers, surgeons, all through cycling and various arrangements. I'm not here to name any names or trash anyone personally. I'm just saying... 99% 99% of people I know who work in those esteemed positions are fucking miserable. They fucking hate it. Most doctors I know only do it for the cash. Most lawyers I know only do it for the cash. And obviously the clout and the status and all that stuff and make the parents proud. What's your son do? Oh, he's a lawyer. She's a doctor. Da, 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 da. You know, just and the parents who have these kids and push them for university, like show dogs and show cats. Like, well, my son's going to this university. Yes, yeah, she, she's a... Da, 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 da. And it's just his parents just fucking, you know, just doing this wank tank conversation. Well, my daughter's doing this. Oh, yes, my daughter. Da, da, da. And meanwhile, the kids are fucking depressed as fuck. They're on Xanax. They're fucking smoking weed. They're doing fucking meth. They're getting ran through by fuckboys at the club. Or they're blah, blah, blah. As guys, they're just, yeah, they're just fucking miserable. Fucking miserable kids from miserable parents and just chasing that tail of that Western consumerism and stuff. And yes, we need doctors. We need surgeons. We need lawyers. I should do we need lawyers? <laughs> you know, like, bit of a joke there. Uh, but most, but only do these jobs if you want to do them, if it's your passion, if you do it pro bono for free because you just love the contribution factor, which is how many lawyers, doctors, and surgeons exist. Look, and dentists that classify fucking 1%, maybe, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So it's just, you know, we live in a crazy setup, man. Crazy setup. So I know the doctors out there. The, I know the, the, the people with the clout titles personally, man. And I see their kids and I see their wives or I see their husbands and I just see fucking miserable people. And it makes me feel sad. It makes me feel a little bit miserable seeing that sadness and fuck. That person went to that school, they did that university course, they got that job, they got to drive this Porsche, they got to drive this Beamer, and they're fucking sad as fuck. And they're fucking alcoholics. And the kids fucking on the drugs. And the kids are fucking lost too. And it's fucking a vicious, vicious cycle, okay? And here's me, Mr. Retiree, the bum, <laughs> just having the, 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 the vision, the wisdom, the, the clout, the lucidity, the sugared up lucidity to go see and go, fuck. You went to a private school. I always thought private schools mean you become this scholar. And sometimes maybe they do become the scholar. And now I'm like, oh, this scholar's actually depressed and suicidal. And they hate their fucking parents. Do you know how many rich kids hate their parents? And they're very polite and they're well-spoken. But behind the scenes, they fucking resent their mum. They resent their dad. And it's this big competition. Who can be more successful in the family unit? This is fucked. Rich kids can relate. A lot of people can't relate to the, what I'm saying in this video. Uh, yeah, so you just got to find what you love to do in life and do that. Don't do it for your mom, don't do it for dad, don't do it for uncle, don't do it for the, your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend or ch chasing clout or from spite or I'm going to show them, I'll fucking show them. No, that would just make you angry, bitter, drug-addicted, resentful, spiteful, 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 spiteful. <laughs> you know, just hating life, not really enjoying life, you know. Like uh, a great example would be Lance Armstrong. You know, amazing bicycle racer, driven by, I'll show them. My dad abandoned me, fuck him, I'll show them. My team cut me when I had cancer, fuck them, I'll show them. And that, and he became the fucking greatest Tour de France rider ever, didn't he? He did. And that was just based on, I'll show them. So whilst the I'll, I'll show them attitude is good to have as a bit of a fuel, it can also leave you feeling a bit empty in the end because you're thinking, okay, I showed them, now what? Now what? Now who am I going to fight? You know, so I think if we want to fight something in life, we want to fight the uh, the destruction of the planet, destruction of the environment. We want to fight that. I'll show them they look after the planet. <laughs> but you know, like where are we going with this 
Most people watch this video, they click on it like, oh, okay, I want heaps of cash. How do I retire, man? How do I just sit on the beach and have all these fucking Bugattis roll up with full of chicks and, yeah, I'll fucking flex on Instagram. Yeah, tell me. And this is based on greed. And you end up like Robin Williams. What happened to Robin Williams? All the cash, all the clout, all the bitches in LA, all the hot, hottest of the hot teen queen starlets. Robin Williams had access to. Still did a Robin Williams, didn't he? You know? So if you think that the money and the fame and shit and the clout and the flexing and the finessing and the flossing on social media and to your friends and exes and people in the past, like, yeah, oh, fuck them, yeah, look at me, man, man, I'm fuck, I'm the fucking Mac. Look at Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, insane fighter, fucking millions, clout. Does he fucking look happy? He looks, he is. I didn't ask the question. He is fucking miserable. And it's unfortunate, okay? Because he's come from that place of, I'll show them, I'll show them. I'll get the cash and just, you know what I mean? And he's fucking miserable. So if you're in there thinking, yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to get all this money for my kids and get this financial stability, and you, you know, like you think living in this world of excess, then you're going to be fucking miserable and your kids are going to be fucking miserable. All right? D d d disagree with me? Look at Robert Williams. Look at Conor McGregor. Look at the kids of these rich people. Look at Elon Musk's kids. Do you think they're like having a great childhood? And they've got the richest, financially richest dad in the world. And the kids... <clears throat> so yeah, man, this is the big trap of, uh, you know, consumer excess. And, uh, yeah, I do. I, I fly first class and I put up these fucking bling hotels and shit I play, I play at and stuff. And people, it gets pull, pulls people in. Yeah, I want that. I want that. It pulls in insecure people. And I do it on purpose. I use these props to lure in insecure people who want these material things so they can flex on someone from the past and say, look at me, I fucking win. You lose. And it's basically you come from a place of insecurity. All right? It's, uh, that's why I prefer to live a more humble existence, a more basic existence. One, when you're flexing all your stuff, you have a bunch of fucking gold diggers chasing you around. <laughs> you have a bunch of clout chasers chasing you around. And that's cool. It's first of all problems. But I just enjoy the more simple lifestyle. It just feels more, it feels a lot easier. It's just a lot easier to wake up where, wherever the fuck you want to. I don't have an iron. I don't have an ironing board, okay? My wardrobe is a floor drobe <laughs> most of the time. I live a very, 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 very easy life with minimal rules. Right? The main rules I have in life is treat people how I want to be treated. Two, wake up every day in a good mood, great for I get another day to do whatever the fuck I want to do. They're my main rules. And three, look after my health. Four, stay a fit cunt. You know, five, inspire, be an inspiring cunt. They're my basic rules every day, okay? So have less rules in life to have an easier life and make those rules you have benefiting you and benefiting people in your life around you versus these OCD bullshit rules. It was like, don't fucking serve anyone. Just create more bottlenecking in your life success. And I measure success in life not by the clout like Robin Williams had and the money like Robin Williams had and et cetera. That's not, that's, for me, it's not success. Maybe it's financial success or clout success. Yeah, I get that. But for me, success, as I said many times before, is waking up every single day stoked to start the day, fucking genuinely stoked to start the day because your day is full of things that you love to do because that's what you've made your life of, okay? And for some people, that's cleaning toilets because they're like, I just like seeing a fucking clean toilet. I'm fucking cleaning the toilet. And then you do you. You do that. Some people, it's like selling shoes or fucking picking up plastic on the beach or whatever. Getting people in the cycle and run, just spreading the vegan word. Just doing whatever, you know, contributing in society in some meaningful way. All right, the camera retired on me. But it's basically, like, <laughs> you just have to save enough money to live your dream lifestyle. I'm living my dream lifestyle 100% every day single day and people find me obnoxious arrogant egotistical whatever i get it i understand it this they're not used to this genuine raw passion I'm not here trying to sell you anything other than living your dream life maybe you want to get my coaching